So a tough end then to the MXGP of Bulgaria. Is that Simpson there, 24? Yeah, in eighth place, seventh had, uh, place now. Found a way past Max Nog. Had a Honda front wheel stuck in the, the rear end of that KTM. And, That's uh, not a bad recovery then because he was in six when he fell, wasn't he? Yeah, ahead of Nog was this. Uh, Maybe Rattray went by him and he's still there ahead of him, but Waters and Caro obviously have fallen by the wayside, haven't they? Here's Cairoli. Well, he'll be glad to walk away from here, won't he? Uh, with a, a win, finally, in MXGP in the big class. Like you say, Adam, not often that... Well, there's not a lot of circuits that Cairoli has visited, not one in either class, but this is one of those circuits that he can tick off and say, yep, I won here in MX2 and also in MXGP. And like... A oh, man down at the top of the hill. And that wasn't Simpson, was it? We were calling earlier. I think it might be Ulrich. Yeah, 149, possibly. But yeah, Cairoli, uh, like we say, Mohan is poor. He goes to Volkswagen next in the sand. Probably one of his favourite services. You know, who would have thought a little Sicilian would be one of the fastest sand riders in the world? And uh, another yellow just ahead of Cairoli there. Who else has dropped it? Like Kawasaki, is that Braca perhaps? Possibly, yeah, because Frossard came out, didn't he? The run down to the finish line then. Tony Cairoli, a double race winner here in Bulgaria, wins for the first time at Sevilla in the big class. And he finishes the day on 222 points. Look how deep that rut is there. <laughs> Just <different> levels. <laughs> Van Horbeek there in second. Commander Sal comes over the line in third. And Tony Cairoli is the happiest man around the paddock at the moment because it's the first big class win for him. He won an MX2 all those years ago with a perfect score. He's been on the podium since. The crowd really getting into that as well. They're pleased that Cairoli finally leaves here as a